Hi, this is Paul from paulberry.com and this is analysis on Zybin Inc, uh, OTC stock CLXPF. Uh, this company is uh, looking at uh, really mental health opportunities uh, that, that could change uh, medicine. They're looking uh, really, uh, and they're being backed uh, by, um, by the FDA for this research um, and it's really uh, using small psychedelics in medicine uh, to help mental health and, and other things. So this is this is quite new. Um, it looks uh, reasonably exciting uh, from a fundamental standpoint of view. And in the link uh, below this video, whether it's on YouTube or in a, in a blog post, uh, there will be a link to find out more about this company, the fundamentals, uh, and a little bit about uh, this new medication. Um, but from a technical standpoint, we want to talk about today is that since listing in 2019, on the left here, it behaved pretty normal. And what we would say by that is the upward trend uh, from listing behaved um, in an Elliott Wave manner, meeting all the rules very, very well. Uh, so we had this initial gap up after earnings. We had some profit taken on a Wave 2. Then we had a really big move up. Um, on a wave three, big impulse leg. And then we had some profit taking found support in the fib zones here where you've got the wave four and then the fifth wave went and hit the fifth wave target zone. So as far as how this stock uh, performed up until that stage, that was um, pretty normal, um, good, um, you know, traders, uh, institutional traders, retail traders saw value, took profit, saw more value, and now they've been taking more profit again. Markets have been a bit negative these last couple of weeks anyway. Um, but technically what we've done now is overall there's more volume traded every day. Yes, there's a lot, there's, there's more selling right now, but there's more interest in this. You can see the volume chart at the bottom here. Uh, so there's more interest uh, where my cursor is here in this stock. Yes, it's selling at the moment, but it's on more people's radars. Um, since this fifth wave target zone, we've had some profit taking uh, and we've come back to test this support. So the support is formed. Uh, the top end of this support zone, you can see where my cursor is here. Move that along is that pivot point for the wave four and the Elliott wave there. And then the bottom end is just taking the, if we go left a little further, just on the wave three, we've got some clustering around where my cursor is here. So the top of this body, the bottom of this body here, that clustering is all included, but also recently these couple of tests. Now we did test this uh, last week on Friday uh, and it rejected so far, but really from a technical standpoint of view, there is value here, but this support zone needs to hold. Um, overall, from the very lows, uh, this this pullback from the very highs is in this 50 to 0.618 fib zone, which is, you know, pretty standard. Uh, the 50 fib, the half, you know, halfway retracement here is seems to be holding a support. It did dip into this other zone here, uh, but didn't break the, the 618. So as far as this profit taking is concerned, after this bullish uh, move, uh, it's pretty standard. We've had a great uh, 50% retracement right now. Uh, nothing uh, really, really concerns me. I just got to make sure, you know, for me personally, that this uh, support zone hold right now. So usually I look at uh, correlations here, and this is really, really interesting. Um, so I, what I've done is I've got CGC and TL, TLRY. So these are pot stocks, okay? Uh, closely aligned, but it's not, you know, not medications, a lot of arguments there and all that sort of thing. Uh, but more importantly, CLXPF and Moderna. Now, they're both biotech. Moderna obviously is, you know, concentrate a lot on um, the COVID type um, vaccinations and all that sort of thing. But what I like to do is look for something in a similar sector that has really good correlations. And this does with CLXPF. More so than the pot stocks. You know, the pot stocks did rise uh, and have fallen again slowly. So there are similar correlations there. But the big one for me 
is this Moderna and CLXPF there. You can see recently we've had the move up and now we've had the pullback. So this really, the support, I, we, I would be looking at the Moderna uh, support level being formed uh, along with CLXPF. And once that starts to kick back up again and investors see more uh, potential in Moderna and, and you'll see CLXPF probably um, follow the same sort of pattern there. So this is something to keep an eye on as well this correlation yes there's a loose correlation with the pot stocks but more importantly in the same sector this biotech sector this is a correlation you should be looking at moderna and clxpf so let's go back to the chart just to remind you again had a great move up met all the elliott wave rules it was what we would call um trading the behavior so this this behavior was normal uh nice big impulse move up profit taken on a wave four fifth wave move hit the target absolutely fantastic it's been a bit scrappy since then with profit taking but it's not sold off massively it's pulled back a 50 percent retracement from the lows uh, so right now we are the important thing for me is finding support in this zone um, and getting back up above that 1.2 dollars that sort of thing uh, and then sort of moving up uh, beyond uh, 1.4 dollars 1 dollar 40 cents would be uh, still good value for this because you know we've had the highs there of around 24 230 something like that so there's some good value there some good potential um, if all this research comes to fruition so hopefully that helps different type of stock biotech this time so um, hopefully um, it helps and you have a great trading week